What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, Justin Sawyer. Also known as J2 Saucy. And, um... Look, man, today's video is going to be different. It's like all my other videos is different. Um... So... The division around playoffs is set for next week on the AFC side of things. Um... Like I said, usually I film these type of videos on Sunday, and it being Sunday is perfect. Um, just got done a couple couple um, minutes ago watching that um, Chargers and Ravens game. Um, congrats to the Chargers. Good shit. Great game. Um, so the Chargers have to come to New England to play the Patriots. Um, obviously my favorite team. And I'm going to say it. Once again, I've said this repeatedly over and over for the last several weeks of the season. Um, I'm very confident in this team. Very confident and not cocky. There's a difference between me being cocky and then me being confident. I'm so confident in this team to, to just go ahead and beat the Chargers. Um... But I'm gonna say I will I will applaud the Chargers because look, their defense is amazing. You know what I'm saying? Their defense just shut down the number one defense, you know what I'm saying, compared to the Ravens, who had the number one defense coming into this game against the Chargers. They didn't look that good, you know what I'm saying? Maybe maybe the first couple first couple um well the first couple quarters, you know what I'm saying, they were they were shutting it down, you know, and then towards like the second half when when things started to pick up, it's like, oh, you know what I'm saying, Phillip Rivers started to pick it up, you know, and then they, they went on, like, I think they scored, what, two touchdowns? You know what I'm saying? Um, and then the rest was history. Um, offensively, the Chargers is good. I'm not going to lie. Chargers got some weapons offensively. Um, you know what I'm saying? They got Melvin Gordon, um, Keenan Allen, a good receiver, Antonio Gates, legendary tight end. Um, I can't say nothing bad about the Chargers because I I don't sit here and watch Chargers to the Chargers play football games. I'm saying I've been too focused on watching the Patriots play. Um, and from a Patriot fan standpoint, you know what I'm saying they obviously have to come to Foxborough, and um, obviously we know how we play down here, especially come playoff time. Um, it's a lot more difficult to play us in Foxborough, um, and also with the fact that we are one of the most um, dangerous teams in the playoffs. Um, also, we are the only team, I think, to be undefeated at home this season. Um, I think we're like 8-0. So, that's that's something to look look into. Um, you know what I'm saying? Defensively, I'm going to say it on... I'm, I'm confident in our defense. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know, statistically speaking, this season we haven't been good. That's crazy to think. Um, but if we can somehow play the, the way that we've been playing for the last couple games of the season, um, from weeks 15 to 16, you know what I'm saying, then, then we'll be good. You know what I'm saying? Um, obviously, people are going to be like, oh, you only played the Jets. You know what I'm saying? You only look good against the, the Bills and the Jets. Shut up. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a fucking football team. You know what I'm saying? They're fucking professional football players that play on the fucking team. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, niggas complain about our division being the weakest division in football, but, but niggas play against the goddamn Browns and Raiders. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would love to have the Browns in our division. <laughs> that Would that be something y'all would look forward to? You know what I'm saying? Every season just playing against the damn Browns? Like, who wants to see that? Nobody. I'm pretty sure we actually play against the we actually play against the Browns um, next season, but that's not neither here nor there. Um, so, and then offensively, y'all y'all know the story this season. Um, obviously, Gronkowski for some reason hasn't had the best year um, of his career, and it has a lot to do with the fact that he's been hurt a lot. Um, but 
at the same time, this also helps because we had the bye week, which also helps. So, coming in this Sunday, we should be well rested and prepared. You know what I'm saying? Um, for Gronk, that's a good thing because obviously it gives him time to, you know what I'm saying, rest his back and give us um, 100% of himself to, to go into this game on Sunday. Um, running game-wise, I'm, I'm impressed. You know what I'm saying? Um, our, our running game compared to the Chargers, I would say it's about even. And I know, I know niggas is about to be like, no, it's not. But yes, it is. And I'm going to tell you why. Because we have, you know what I'm saying, a diverse backfield. You know what I'm saying? We don't rely on just one running back to get us yards. Um, we have people like Sonny Michelle and James White, who's had one of his best seasons of his career this year. Um, and then throw in Rex Burkhead. Obviously, we lost Jeremy Hill this year. I, if we would have had Jeremy Hill, I, Lord knows how how more how much more dangerous this team would have been um, from a running running game standpoint. Um, really wish we would have had him still. And then obviously, you know, what I'm saying losing Josh Gordon, which you know, what I'm saying kind of just puts a damper in things. But hey, man. We, we've won playoff games without Josh Gordon. We've won playoff games without Jeremy Hill. It's obviously sad we don't have those players here um, this season anymore. Um, but I think we should be good. You know what I'm saying? We still have Tom Brady, and we know how he is in the playoffs. Um, yes, Tom Brady hasn't played like Tom Brady usually does this season. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? As long as we're in the playoffs, it's okay with me. I don't care statistically how this season looks. I'm not into the whole, oh, he's thrown 29 touchdowns but compared to this dude who's thrown 50. He shouldn't be an MVP or he shouldn't be in the Pro Bowl. I don't care about the stats. I can care less if Tom Brady throws 30 interceptions in a season. As long as we win our division and are in the playoffs, that's all I care about. Um, so with that being said, and it's the same thing defensively. I don't care if our defense, you know what I'm saying, looks like trash at times this season. As long as we win a damn game, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Um, but like I said, if, if the defense and offense continue to play the way that they did um, over the last few weeks of the season, then we should be able to beat the Chargers. Um, like I said, the Chargers are a good team. I'm not going to overlook them. You know what I'm saying? Because they're obviously an incredible team. They have an incredible defense and incredible offense. And that man, Phillip Rivers, has had a great year. You know what I'm saying? Um, didn't, didn't really um, think that the Ravens were going to win today. Just for the fact that I really thought, like, they were too much overpowered. You know what I'm saying? Um, yes, they had the number one defense, but I, I really didn't see that in this game. You know? It, it kind of it kind of bothered me that they got called the number one defense, but then it's like they didn't really show up. You know what I'm saying? Um, Lamar Jackson got booed for no reason. Like, y'all boo a, a rookie quarterback. Why? He's a rookie. Just let him let him live. You know what I'm saying? Let him do what he has to do. They almost came back and won. You know what I'm saying? Had he not turned the ball over a couple times late in the game, maybe they would have won. You know what I'm saying? Um... But once again, that that's because look, the Chargers is good defensively, and I'm saying I don't care how good they are. You know what I'm saying? Once again, not being being cocky, just me being confident enough in my team to know that coming into Foxborough, the, the Chargers are in for a rude awakening. I don't care how good their offense is. I don't care how many weapons they got. We can equal that. You know what I'm saying? Um, we got as much weapons as they do. And this is going to be a good game on Sunday. Um, like I said, congrats to them. I don't really, I'm not going to talk about the Colts and Chiefs um, until, until next week. I'm not going to really get into the AFC Championship game until hopefully, like I said, we win on Sunday. Um, but I will be watching that Colts and Chiefs game just in case. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, obviously. The um the Bears and Eagles are also playing right. Hold on. Give me a second. Alright. Still still good.
fucking leg hurt. Um, the Bears and Eagles are playing right now. Um, my fucking goddamn carbonated water right here. Um, from a Patriot stamp, Patriot fan standpoint, I'm going with with the Bears. Um, and if the Bears don't win, then I really don't care. You know what I'm saying? I don't care who comes off the the um, NFC. You know what I'm saying? I want the I want the Saints to go to the Super Bowl just because I fucks with Drew Brees as a quarterback. Um, so I'm gonna go with the Saints, but. Like I said, my prediction is, is the Saints and, and uh, Patriots. And if it's not the Saints, then it's probably going to be the Rams. Um, also, the Cowboys. The Cowboys won yesterday against the Seahawks. So I got, like, all my predictions right. Because I said the Colts was going to win. The Colts won. Um, and then the the, um, the Cowboys won. So I'm two for two right now. Well, actually, three for three because I wanted the Chargers to win, too. So I'm three for three. Um, I don't know, man. Something about me calling games is, is just luck, I guess. Um, I don't know. From a from a Patriot fan standpoint, you can call me salty if you want to. I I moved on from the, from the um, Super Bowl loss a long ass time ago, um, but I just want the Bears to win. You know what I'm saying? They got home field advantage. They got a young quarterback. These these are two good 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 teams. Um. But it's something about that Bears defense that I think the, the Eagles will not be able to match. So I'm going to go with the Bears to win this game. Um, also, if y'all watched that Cowboys game yesterday, that shit was um, got down. Allen Hearns, that shit was disgusting. Uh, prayers out to him. That, that ankle injury was fucking nasty as fuck. Um, I feel so bad for that one. That shit. Fuck. That, I, like, I'm not even a Cowboys fan, and I felt, like, hurt for that man. You know what I'm saying? Like, goddamn. That shit sucks. Um, but, but it's good to see them win. You know what I'm saying? So congratulations to the Cowboys. It was a good game. Um, I always love to, to watch playoff games. Um, and regardless of what happens on Sunday, I'm going to say it, it's been a great season. You know what I'm saying? I don't think no one gave us – coming into this year, really, no one no one thought we were going to go this far into the into – the, well, not even make the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? People were saying, oh, this this team is done. You know what I'm saying? The Patriots ain't going to make it this far. It's over with. You know what I'm saying? Dynasty is over. They're going to they're gonna lose. Um, not going to make the playoffs. And then we did. Now you niggas ain't saying shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, Y'all can hate on it if you want to, like you've been doing for 19 years. Um, and that's that. You know what I'm saying? We hopefully can win on Sunday and uh, move on to the NC Championship game in a few weeks. God forbid y'all come up with some type of scandal in that game, whether it be against the Colts or Chiefs. I really don't care who we play against. Um, I'm going to just, you know what I'm saying, pray for my team to get through this week with a W and then head on to the AFC Championship game, and then we shall see what happens then. But until then, I look forward to watching this game on Sunday next week. And I um, hope you all enjoyed this video. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you ain't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you got your motherfucking post notifications turned on as well. You know what I'm saying? Turn them, turn them motherfucking post notifications on. And, um... Leave a motherfucking video suggestion right there in the comment section as well. Also, let me know who y'all got winning the goddamn motherfucking Super Bowl. And let me know some of y'all Super Bowl predictions. What teams y'all got going um, down below in the comment section. And um, I love y'all to death. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Take it easy. Love y'all.